Welcome to our clip about the gelling of some yod. Jai, can you analyze the gelling of some yod under the Les Majesty law? Well, first of all, anyone who believes in freedom and democracy must condemn the jailing of some yod, Puxaka Sem Suk, under Les Majesty law, and also the use of this law against other people who are now in jail. But if we're going to understand this use of Les Majesty, we have to uh, look at the big picture. And the big picture is um, what the people that have been jailed under Les Majesty or charged, like myself, under Les Majesty, what do they have in common? And the answer is that what they have in common is that they criticized and opposed the military coup in 2006 against an elected government. What this means is that Les Majesty is not being used to punish people who supposedly insulted the king. It's not being used um, to, to punish people who want to overthrow the monarchy, although personally I would like to see a, a republic in Thailand. It's actually being used to um, stifle dissent, um, a stifle a discontent about the intervention in Thai politics by the military. It's being used to, to um, prevent the freedom of expression in all forms in Thailand and therefore to keep um, Thailand as a um, semi-dictatorship. That is, that, is, that is really the core of it. It's not, it's not about protecting the monarchy. And so you have to see it like that, that it's being used as a tool. So, what attitude should we take to the uh, to the Pure Thai government then? Well, some an analysts will will make excuses for Ying Lak's government and say that you know she doesn't dare abolish Les Majesty or to or to pass laws that that would immediately release the political prisoners, including the uh, Les Majesty p political prisoners. In fact, that's not true. Mm -hmm. Some people will sort of hint at the unseen hand of the king. That again is a myth. What has actually happened is that Pua Thai, and this includes Thaksin Chinnawat as well, have made an agreement with the military in order to restrict um, freedom and democracy within Thailand. Mm -hmm. They've made that. And this is not something that, that they're, they're doing against their will. Because if you actually think back to the Thaksin government. He himself used uh, Les Majesty against the um, reporters from the Far Eastern Economic Review when they wrote an article implying that Thaksin had paid off the gambling debts of, of the Crown Prince. So the, the, the law itself is there to protect the military, is there to protect the politicians like Thaksin, who are all royalists. Mm -hmm. and they're not royalists because they're under the power of the king, but the King is a very useful tool for these people, okay. um, and um, really, we we have to see that um, Les Majesty is is a uh, law which destroys the fundamentals of democracy and freedom, and therefore Pua Thai has to be held accountable. It is not a political party which is in favour of democracy, and. This goes against what the Red Shirts were fighting for. The Red Shirts were fighting for freedom and democracy. And they've been betrayed by, by Pua Thai, although the, the way that the Red Shirt leadership, the UDD, is behaving, they're trying to, to make sure that, that the majority of Red Shirts keep quiet and, and do not see it as a betrayal. Okay, um, what about the um, Thai NGOs and the Human Rights Commission? Then? Well, you see, if you look at the, the general uh, picture of um, human rights organizations, the foreign human rights organizations have come out and condemned the use of Les Majesty in the jailing of Som Yot. Uh, of course, Amnesty International was very late on the scene, only recently has it changed from supporting Les Majesty. Even uh, representatives of the EU uh, governments have condemned the jailing of Som Yot. And you go to Thailand, you see some progressive red shirts, people protesting outside the courts. Those uh, people 
allied with Niti Raat, who want to, to change the Les Majesty law. They want immediate release of all political prisoners, including the Les Majesty political prisoners. But then, if you go to the Thai Human Rights Commission, we should be standing up for the protection of, of the human rights and freedoms of Thai people. You see that this commission, which is actually stuffed full of royalists and, <laughs> and military personnel, has, has refused to take on this issue. You see that the vast majority of Thai NGOs, with one or two exceptions, have remained silent. And what this means is that these organizations that claim that they're representatives of the people and so on, are really representatives of the Thai ruling class who want to, or they're, they're supporters of the Thai ruling class, who want to restrict democracy. They don't see a problem with Les Majesty. Otherwise, they should come out and say something about it. That's right. So, what, um, what is the conclusion then? Well, if you look at the, what, what has been happening in Thailand, it's quite clear that the, the king and the, the monarchy has been used by the military, the politicians, the capitalist class, and so on, in order to restrict uh, freedom and democracy in Thailand. And the monarchy itself has, 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 has been happy to go along with this ever since the Sarit dictatorship. Um, and so the way we can build democracy is to actually get rid of the, um, the monarchy in Thailand. Let's have a republic, because quite f frankly, if you have a republic, that takes away one big excuse. Um, remember that when the, the military staged a coup in 2006, they, they said they were doing it on behalf of the king, and therefore if you criticized the coup, you were criticizing the king. Well, let's get rid of that, that excuse. Let's get rid of the monarchy. Let's take the vast wealth of the monarchy and use it to support the majority of Thai people and build a welfare state. Well, if we look at the um, Britain, in, in Britain or in Japan, can we reform in that way? Some people might wish to, to maintain the monarchy in the form that it, it exists in, in Britain and Japan, but quite frankly, it's a waste of money in Britain and Japan. It's a symbol of, of, of somehow that there are people who are born to be uh, high and born to be low. And, and the way that it is being used right now, the monarchy in Thailand, it's, I feel it's too late. It's too late for any reform. In this day and age, we shouldn't have to be groveling on the floor. We shouldn't have people in jail because they've uh, criticized the intervention in politics by the army and so on. So what we really need is a republic. But certainly, at the same time, we have to campaign to scrap Les Majesty. We have to campaign for the immediate release of political prisoners. So, free to Thai political prisoners? Yes. Goodbye. <laughs>